Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an action RPG that was made for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita, Dragon's Crown. Renamed to be Dragon's Crown Pro, the game would be ported to the PlayStation 4. My own excitement for the game was due to the fact that the time it was released for the PS3, I had already sold mine for the Xbox 360 Elite. Most of the game I had in that era was for the Xbox 360 heavily compared to my Blu-ray movie collection for the PS3. With the single player renaissance with The Last of Us and Uncharted and so many others more, it proved to be a mistake until I bought the PS5. Originally planned to be a Sega Dreamcast release and a sequel to Sega Saturn's own 2D side-scrolling RPG, Princess Crown, director and lead artist George Kamitani has to shelve the project due to a short-lived Dreamcast. Moving on to different projects like Odin Sphere and Miramasa the Demon Blade, Kamitami decided to restart the old project, but this time in HD quality with a PS3 and portable powerhouse PS Vita. The port was meant for the PlayStation 4 Pro, the mid-tier of the PlayStation 4 cycle, and replaced many of the original uh, visuals to reflect 4K resolution. English and Japanese choice tracks were then recorded and also added with all the previous DLC. Many balance adjustments were added to the game along with crossplay from the previous gen. Dragon's Crown Pro was developed by Vanillaware and released by Atlas in 2018 for the PlayStation 4 and is a direct port of the original from 2013 on the PlayStation 3 and Vita. The story revolves around six character classes, adventurers of as they journey across the land of Hydland and become involved with a search of the magical Dragon's Crown. Very much heavy in the mission category where the kingdoms really rely on you and your party to fight and do all the dirty work until you become more reliable and actually saving the world. Music was composed by Hitoshi Sakimoto and this time around was released with a live orchestra. The soundtrack is awesome in almost every way you listen. The relentless action is also combined with the exact scenario, devices, and proper mood to help romp those unrelenting battles. The visuals here are really something to behold. The art design consists of 2D artwork and everything is fully animated. With Kamitami with his days at Capcom and learning from iconic games, the game truly feels that way with Dungeons and Dragons that Capcom made before. The animation here is fluid and stiff at the same time, but feels original in its own way. Although I felt that the overall presentation was awesome. It really doesn't push forward as you play with environments not meeting the inspired look of even the characters themselves. The unrelenting battles here is problematic and probably its worst enemy. The game concentrates on the gameplay, moving at a brisk pace like older 2D arcade beat-em-ups like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Final Fight, and even Guardian Heroes on the Sega Saturn. Each of these games are awesome in their own right and even are different in gameplay mechanics. The real issue here is how long will it keep your interest level at heart? And I do like its RPG elements, but after a couple hours of the same gameplay and missions, this becomes an arcade beat-em-up, but lengthened to be a 20-hour campaign with each character 
where I gave up after just beating it with one. The game spent more time on gameplay elements rather than true state-of-the-art story to keep you moving forward like past Valenware games. The overall presentation is excellent like I said before, with the animated mayhem on screen something to behold as you build your character with RPG elements with a fantastic soundtrack to boot. Where the game crumbles is their repetition of the action makes you feel like grinding that is lengthened for the game rather than make the game more fun. Dragon's Crown Pro gets a 6.5 out of 10 for a work of art the game truly is but falls short in becoming the brawler beat-em-up you have been dreaming of. Stick with TMNT, Shredder's Revenge, and Streets of Rage 4 for your fighting needs. That's it for this look at Dragon's Crown Pro. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn.